out for you. First at four, shockwaves continue after the leaked U.S. Supreme Court document indicating the court intends to overturn Roe v. Wade, making abortion a state issue. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dean Silkin. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Oregon has state laws protecting abortion rights, and Washington has a law that kicks in in June. Elisa Balick joins us live looking into how Oregon pro choice advocates are getting ready to provide services to those who live out of state if needed. Lisa? Yeah, our neighbor Idaho, one of more than a dozen states that has a law in place that would immediately make abortions illegal in that state if Roe v. Wade is overturned. And I have confirmed today with Planned Parenthood here in the Portland area that they are intending to open up a clinic that would provide abortion services over in Eastern Oregon. Now, Planned Parenthood is renting medical office space in a building in Ontario as of a few months ago. The building used to house a nonprofit health clinic. Planned Parenthood concerned that that its reproductive health care services in Idaho could be severely curtailed. They're looking to provide services for Idaho and Oregon patients. Oregon has uh, amazing services and protection for people who seek abortions. And clearly, we are looking at how we could provide support and help Now, Planned Parenthood is not giving any details yet as to when it would open. Abortion, just one of many reproductive health services it would provide there in Ontario, such as exams, birth control, prenatal care. It recognizes, they tell me, that they are also facing some opposing views about them coming into Eastern Oregon. Planned Parenthood has been the largest provider of reproductive health services in Idaho, with many Eastern Oregon residents also getting care in those centers, since the nearest Oregon clinic right now is in Bend. But again, there is still a wait to see what happens. The earliest that we could hear on that Roe v. Wade decision would be next month. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.